AM Live. I'm Monique Gross today, and we have the awesome ladies from Operation Care. Hello. We have Natalie Hi. and Anna. Welcome back. So good to have you here. Happy New Year. Happy New, Happy New, New Year. Year. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about one of my favorite events in Amber County. This is what I love. I've covered it for you guys before. thought it was awesome. I'm looking forward to running it this year, too. So tell us about it. Um, this, we're having our third annual um, Color Madness Fun Run, and it's to bring awareness to Teen Dating Violence Month, and that's in February. And registration starts at 9, and the timed run is going to start at 10 a.m., so mm -hmm. come out and join us for that. Mm -hmm. And um, then we'll start the, um, the fun run about half an hour later. And... Um, it's stroller friendly, family friendly. Um, the course is really fun. Dog friendly. Dog, dog friendly. friendly. I saw a lot of dogs walking a couple years mm -hmm. ago. That was that was really cute actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So February seventh, you say? February seventh. Yep. Okay. Registration is at um, nine a.m. Mm -hmm. and um, come on out and join us. Get some get lots of color on you and. So if you haven't done a fun run, I'm gonna let you explain it. But it is a really cool thing and it's fun for the kids. It's fun for the adults too. Um, but tell us what a fun run is, you know, how, how do you incorporate color into this activity? Um, so you start out with a white t-shirt and um, as you go through the stations you get um, powder paint thrown on you and by the end of the, the race your, your shirt is co colored and it looks kind of like a tie-dye t-shirt and it's really fun. And it kind of looks like chalk a little bit, like powder chalk. Exactly, powder yes. Chalk. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's what so, it looks like. That's pretty neat. So it's really fun to go running through the poofs of paint. And <laughs> yeah, I think so too, I'm just like a big grown-up kid, you know. <laughs> and what's the course like? How is it hard? Is it easy? Um, no, it's a fairly easy course. It's um, pretty pretty level, but there are some hills in some places. Um, it's out over by Broad Broadway by the uh, Margaret Dalton Center. Mm -hmm. um, so it's back there in the, the homes and everything. Is that where you're going to have the sign up at again too, is Margaret Dalton Center? That's yes. kind of where everybody meets at. Mm -hmm. And so it's um, to bring awareness to teen violence. And I know that a couple of years ago you had some just kind of some interesting silhouettes, and then you had a uh, little information about what teen violence is. Tell us about that. Um, one in one in four um, teens will experience teen dating violence in their relationships, unfortunately. And um, it's teens are are they're just starting out in their relationships and so it's important for us to bring awareness that um, they deserve to be happy and have healthy relationships and understand what that means and what that looks like. You know and a lot of young kids um, maybe they see a little bit of violence in the home you know maybe their parents argue a little bit or you know give them one of these and they think that's normal because that's mm -hmm. how they're raised and they think everybody's like that and that's okay because that's how it's been at home. Or they see all these movies, you know, there's a lot of bad education on TV mm -hmm. because, um, you know, younger people will see movies where there's, you know, maybe not necessarily full on violence, but inappropriate behavior, mm -hmm. which is going to start inappropriate um expectations and mm -hmm. accepting you know these types of behaviors in their future relationships exactly. and a lot of kids don't really know what what is supposed to be normal and what is right and mm -hmm. and you know does everybody act like this or is the apology acceptable um, so this is one way that students really need to start young and start understanding what these mm -hmm. healthy relationships are like and it comes from good families, any kind of family. Mm -hmm. You know, your parents can be very affluent. Maybe they're, they're both, you know, successful business people, but it doesn't mean that they didn't see this growing up mm -hmm. and carry on the tradition. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody. It really does. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, you know, these are the types of things that we want our community to be aware of. And the moms and dads that, you know, have, you know, nice, peaceful home life are also having children in from, you know, their, their children's friends are coming to the home and they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're examples. Exactly. Or these kids are going to other people's homes and they're finding example in what's happening there. And most mm -hmm. of the time, people don't even know there's something dynamically incorrect when it's happening. So these kids are mm -hmm. just so, you know, they're, they're just so impressionable. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about teen violence and what some of the things, um, if you're not familiar with it, what are some of the things that can happen? Um, not necessarily direct, you know, like direct hitting, but there's lots of other ways that the violence can, be, you know, happen. Right now, uh, one thing that we're seeing with the kids that we have interactions with is a lot of... Um, texting, uh, uh, like repetitive texting or um, inappropriate texting, things like that between mm -hmm. um, boyfriends and girlfriends and parents don't monitor their text messages that are coming in so they're not even aware that their son or daughter is dealing with um, being berated all night long, 
not being able to sleep because they're getting these horrible text messages all night long and right. um, things like that. Um, another dynamic for teen dating violence is they're stuck on school campus with this person all day long. Even if they wanted to get away from them, they can't because mm -hmm. they have classes with them. They see them during passing, at lunch, things like that. Right. So that's another dynamic that, um, like an adult relationship where you could separate yourself, mm -hmm. leave the home, leave the environment, leave the relationship. With teens, they're stuck on the same campus. They can't get away from one another. And they're probably too afraid to tell their parents. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember being a young kid, and you know, if there's something wrong, I was afraid to. I was afraid to say anything to my mom because she'd fly off the handle, and then all of a sudden she'd embarrass me. And you know, I mean, parents are. You know, they love their children. They're not going to put up with this type of behavior and let their kids be abused in any way, shape, or form. But sometimes the actions are so quick that it's you're afraid to do something because you know the you know results going to be bad. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? I mean, if you're a teenager. Major, what do you do? Um, the point you just brought up about telling somebody, that's mm -hmm. what they have to do. Like, mm -hmm. as uncomfortable it is, as it is, and um, your fear of being in trouble, or your fear, or not being in trouble, but maybe um, being ridiculed and things like that, mm -hmm. you just have to speak up. You have to find someone you trust, whether it's a friend, a friend's parent. Okay. Um, the school administrators in this county are amazing. They are really good. Um, and they're there to listen. You can go in and talk to them about what's going on. And if they can do anything to make your environment more comfortable, more safe, they're going to do it. Because mm -hmm. they don't want to see that on their campus either. It affects their students. It does. And it's not the students mm -hmm. happening to, but it's all their friends around them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then on, on the other side is whatever student that's causing these problems, you know, they think they're cool. Maybe their friends all of a sudden think they're cool intimidating someone like this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just, just learning appropriate behavior and what should be acceptable and what should not be. Young people, they you know they're just starting off. They don't really know. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So what else is going on? We have a contest, right? Yes, we have a contest. We're gonna drop off um, these at the school today, and it's for um, what does a healthy, happy relationship mean to me? Mm -hmm. And so what we're asking, we're inviting teens to do is to write a poem, a song, um, any anything that tells. Um, what a healthy relationship is to them. Okay. And they can um, email it to um, me, Natalie, at operationcare.org mm -hmm. and or mail it to us at 619 New York Ranch Road. Mm -hmm. And um, they have an opportunity to win a Kindle Fire. Ooh, so, yeah. Everybody would like to have one of those. That yeah. sounds pretty good. So we're just, um, this just brings awareness and it uh -huh. just gets them thinking about what is a healthy, happy